what is up my dear students let us take a look at a question from j advanced 2020 this question is from the magnetics chapter let us first analyze the question a circular coil of radius r and n turns has negligible resistance so this is a circular coil it has radius capital r and it has n turns and its resistance is negligible that means its resistance is very very small its two ends are connected to two wires and it is hanging by those wires with its plane being vertical so this coil that we see here it is connected to these two wires and it is in the vertical plane the wires are connected to a capacitor with charge q through a switch so these wires here are connected to a capacitor which has charge q through a switch the coil is in a horizontal uniform magnetic field b not parallel to the plane of the coil so there is a horizontal magnetic field here which is b not and this is parallel to the plane of the coil when the switch is closed the capacitor gets discharged through the coil in a very short time so this switch is open now let us close it now we have closed this switch and we can see the capacitor gets discharged the red spheres which you saw here are charge carriers and the motion of these indicates the direction of current in circuit by the time the capacitor is discharged fully magnitude of the angular momentum gained by the coil will be assume that the discharge time is so short that the coil has hardly rotated during this time so he is asking us what is the angular momentum gained by this coil when the capacitor has discharged one more point to note here is he has said the discharge time is very short and here also he has said discharge time is so short which means the charge which you saw here right the current which you saw here goes very fast through this coil i have drawn it uh, very slowly so that you can visualize the case properly but uh, the discharge time is very less and the charge travels very fast through this coil let us now understand how this coil here gains angular momentum so first we close the switch and the capacitor starts getting discharged now as current is going in the coil this coil acquires a magnetic moment so the vector that you see here which is pointing out of the plane is m bar which is the magnetic moment acquired by this coil now as this coil has a magnetic moment m bar this interacts with the external magnetic field to produce a torque on the coil so i have marked the torque which is acting on the coil as tau bar the direction of this tau bar can be found from the formula m bar cross b bar now as this torque acts on this loop this will produce a turning effect on the loop so let us have a look at the schematic how this torque turns the loop you can observe here that this torque is turning the loop this turning effect can be visualized by the rotation of this magnetic moment vector the magnetic moment is perpendicular to the plane of the coil so because the coil is turning you can see that this vector is also turning see you can see that this torque here acts for a very short time as the discharge of the current is very fast you can observe here that when this charge leaves the loop when this charge leaves the loop the magnetic moment of this coil becomes zero and the torque acting on this also becomes zero so take a look at it let us take a look at this from different view point so that the magnetic moment vector is much more clearly visible
Let us now get into the angular momentum calculation of the loop. So tau bar equals to m bar cross b bar, the magnetic moment of the loop equal to total number of turns into current into the area of the loop. In this case as m bar and b bar are perpendicular, we can directly write tau equals to m into b naught. So which we have written here that is torque acting on the loop equals to n into i into pi r square into b naught. The angular momentum acquired by the loop equals to tau into dt. We can substitute the value of torque from this equation. So we get dl equals to n into pi r square b naught into i dt. We integrate on both sides here and here and dl integral is uh, angular momentum which is acquired and integral i dt is the total charge which has passed through the loop. So we can write that as q. So the final answer will be L equals to n pi r square b naught into q.